Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today I have a review of Joji's Nectar. Joji, aka George Miller, aka Pink Guy, we're not going to get into that. This is his album number two after he came out with Ballads 1. For a relatively popular artist, Joji has a pretty unique style that I would say is more alternative R&B mixed with some trip hop and what I would call a dark hop. The sound design across all of Joji's tracks are pretty deep and dark and kind of have a lasting emotional impact that is predominantly sad. Joji almost tends to wail through his music in a sort of sad, emotional, painful way and mixed with his kind of darker lyrics. It makes perfect sad boy music. I've been a fan of Joji since his In Tongues EP in 2017, and when I heard the first single off of this new album, Nectar, I knew this was going to be something different. Sanctuary had changed the game for me, had changed who Joji was for me. His music, and specifically this song, showed that he had a lot more maturity and progression in his musical style. I felt like the song had a lot more purpose to it, and there was an overall drive that came with it that wasn't in a lot of his earlier tracks. And then came the next two singles. What I claim to be the space opera of the album in Gimme Love, Run, and Sanctuary, these three pieces of music I think are the best that Joji has ever put out. While Joji holds himself as a kind of more indie artist that has a bit of a narrow audience and more niche genre, he sort of has been making music for the masses since he started his Joji project. And I think these three songs perfectly encapsulate everything that Joji has been trying to attain up to this point by making music that is more radio poppy friendly and also maintaining his signature style. I personally love songs that have a strong start that build into this big epic almost finale in the last three fourths and then has this low kind of emotional turning point at the very very end and Gimme Love and Run both are this type of song to the T. Gimme Love's drum and bass first half transitions perfectly into the orchestral high that is the midpoint of Gimme Love and really showcases Joji's high range. And Run showed me the best guitar I have yet to hear in all of 2020. The bass and electric play in tandem throughout the song to give the dark emotional feel and have the sound of the electric kind of be deeper and darker, only to have the electric take over for the last third of the song. I think all three of these songs really showcase Joji's maturity in both his range as a musician and his production style. Just thinking of the difference in tracks that George Miller has gone from Pink Guy to the first two tracks on Nectar, You, and Modus. They really do feel like night and day differences. Enlisting the help of some mighty strings, Joji acknowledges right off the bat that his music is a little different than what we've normally known from Joji, and it's a lot more cinematic and a lot more thought-provoking. In terms of features, the back half is littered with tons of people from the likes of Omar Apollo, Lil Yachty, and Yves Tumor, and both add their own unique spin to the track that don't take anything away from it and really do feel like good features that really add their own unique style to the Joji track. Take Lil Yachty's verse on Pretty Boy, for example. His tone and delivery matches perfectly the atmosphere that Joji was going for with that track, and especially where it aims to go narratively. And my personal favorite is Beanie on Afterthought. I am a sucker for when male and female vocalists come together and create some kind of vocal duet on a trip hop style track, and this is that. Cycling back to the kind of space opera idea, I think Sanctuary closes the book or closes a chapter on what the album is as a whole. I believe there's kind of three distinct chapters and after Sanctuary closes, the space opera sort of ends and then High Hope starts and it's more of the classic Joji style. It's that classic Joji style, but paired with the more modern, more experienced Joji in terms of his lyricism and vocal delivery. I think this chapter two of the album goes all the way until the last two, where it starts, chapter three starts with Like You Do and Your Man. This last chapter really does land the whole album on what its intention is of talking about the emotional heartbreak of relationships and how painful they can be. All of what Joji is portraying in this album lands on these last two songs and the idea that even though he loves someone dearly, he can't really be with them and the whole cycle repeats with your man. A cycle of emotional and relational hope and desire for a person, and it all travels back to the idea that ultimately you can't really be with them. In this last chapter, while Like You Do is the ultimate breakup song, Your Man is the ultimate hopeful relationship song, the feeling you get of butterflies in your stomach when you really start to fall for someone. 
I would say that this is easily Joji's best project to date. It's a little bit of a different feel than anything he's done on his EPs and Ballads 1, but there really is a lot of added strength to Joji in his last couple years as a music producer and his lyrical and vocal delivery. While Nectar tackles a lot of the same stuff as Ballads 1 does and his EPs in terms of relational heartbreak and sorrow and just everything going on with people and people he loves, um, he just takes it to a more mature level. And I know I've used that a lot, but I really do feel like this is the most mature we've ever seen George Miller and or Joji. But this is by far the most time I've ever spent on a project before I actually rated it. I had spent a whole month since it first came out to when I'm making this video and when I gave it an official rating. And uh, I, it's really grown on me. I did, wasn't too impressed with it at the start, but the more I listened to it and the, the deeper I dove into it, the more I really appreciated it. And it's kind of a sign to me, and I'll say it to you, that it's your first listen is not always gonna be what you think of as an album. And the more you dive into it and the more you really look at the lyrics and the production style, the more you really appreciate the music. This was a great album. I really much enjoyed it. Joji's Nectar is going to get an eight. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtied Media. If you have any comments or anything, you know where those go in the comment section. Leave a like if you liked and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. I will see you guys in another video.